So today in math, we are learning about the identity property of multiplication and the zero property of multiplication. Oop, all the way across. Um, and we are going to begin by learning what those two things are. So we're going to start right here. It says connect. You have multiplied with 1 and 0. Now you will learn two properties that will help you find products when multiplying a number by 1 or 0. Remember, a product is an answer in a multiplication problem. Multiplication problem. Okay? So a product is an answer in a multiplication product problem. Um, the identity property of multiplication states that the product, remember that's the answer, of any number and 1 is that number. So you have factors in a multiplication problem, like 7 is a factor, and 1 is a factor, and the product of any number, like 7, and 1 is going to be that number. So 7 times 1 equals 7. So anything times 1 will always be whatever the other factor is. Same thing here. 6 is a factor. 1 is a factor. 6 times 1 equals 6. The reason that this is, is because if I was to break, if I were to break down this problem, 6 times 1, that means I have six groups of one. This is the same as saying six groups of one. So if I multiply a number times one, the number is always going to be, or my product is always going to be the other number. So let's read this one more time. The identity property of multiplication states that the product of any number and 1 is that number. So here they flipped our factors, and now I have 1 times 7 equals 7, or 1 times 6 equals 6. Remember, this is the same as saying I have 1 group of 6, 1 group of 7. The multiplication sign means groups of, okay? The zero property of multiplication. This states that the product, remember that's our answer, of, any, of zero and any number is zero. Let's write out this one. I have zero groups of five. Well, if I have zero groups of five, how many do I have? I have zero. There's none, right? So any number times zero equals zero. These are the two properties that you need to remember for today. The identity property, any number times one equals the number. The zero property, any number times zero equals zero. So let's do some share and show. <clears throat> Number one says find the product, which means we're looking for the answer. Write the multiplication property that you used. Okay, so we have two properties to choose from, the identity property or the zero property. Here we go. One times three. That's the same as saying one group of three. So I have one group and it has three things. How many do I have? One times three is three. What property did I use? Did I use the identity property or the zero property? That's right, I use the identity property. I use the identity property of multiplication. Um, you should write this down on your paper as well. Okay, now it's asking us to find the product. That means that we are multiplying these numbers together. 
If you need to draw a picture to do so, please go ahead. I'm going to do the first couple of them with you, and then I'm going to turn you loose to do your own. So five groups of one, five times one. Well, I know from the identity property that any number times one equals the number. So five times one equals five. How about this one? Zero groups of two. Zero times two equals, well, the zero property says that any number times zero equals zero. All right, go ahead and finish off numbers um, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Push pause, finish those, and then push play again. Number 10, what pattern do you see when you multiply numbers with zero as a factor? Ooh, this is a good sentence to answer. There is indeed a pattern. I can't wait to see what you write. And then down here at the bottom, you have some more multiplication problems to do. This time you're finding a missing number. So you have to really think about your zero property of multiplication and your identity property of multiplication. Really think about those because they're only giving you one factor and then your product. So let's look at number 11. Blank groups of one equals 15. What factor is missing? Well, I know that any number times one equals the number. So this is my number that is missing. Let's look at number 12. 1 times 28 equals, hmm. Well, with the identity property, I know that any number times 1 equals the number. So 1 group of 28 equals 28. Okay. I'm going to let you figure out the rest of these. Remember your properties. I can't wait to see what you come up with. This is page two of your lesson today. In this, we are taking the same ideas of the identity property and the zero property of multiplication, and we are putting them into word problems. So same concept. Just now you have to figure out what they're asking you to find. So let's do number 12 together. It says, Frank puts eight placemats on the table. Each placemat, that's a clue word, each placemat gets one plate. Which multiplication sentence shows how many plates there are? So we're looking for how many plates. Well, what do we know? I know that Frank had eight placemats. Each placemat gets one plate. So how many plates are there? Well, I know from the identity property that eight times one, or eight groups of one, equals eight. So which sentence is that? That would be letter A. Okay. I want you to go ahead and do the other five questions on this page together. When you're finished, check out video number two to see if you got your answers correct.